Okay, we're doing this just like yesterday. I'm doing two problems from the assignment with you. Then you got the other three on your own. Okay? So, number seven. Jamie has a collection of 78 nickels, dimes, and quarters worth $12.40. If the number of quarters is doubled, the value becomes $22.15. How many of each type of coin does Jamie have? So how many variables do I have here? Three. Three. We'll just use X, Y, and Z if everyone's okay with that. What's my X going to equal? Nickels. What about nickels? 78. Huh? Five. Just the amount of nickels uh, I have, right? Five yeah. X. X will be my amount of nickels. So what does that make Y equal? Dimes. Um, amount of dimes. And Z? Amount of quarters. Everyone okay with my three variables and what they're equaling? Now I need to set up my three equations. Can anyone raise your hand and help me out with one of my equations? Yes. X plus Y plus Z equals 78. Very good. X plus Y plus Z equals 78. Because it says Jamie has a collection of 78 nickels, dimes, and quarters. So my amount of nickels plus my amount of dimes plus my amount of quarters equals the total amount, which is 78. Everyone good with that equation? Mm -hmm. Can someone raise your hand and give me another equation? X plus Y plus Z equals 1240? Not quite. Um. Yes? Point five y plus point ten, or no, point five x plus point ten z y. Equals what? Very good. And it's not 0.5, it's 0.05. A nickel is worth 5 cents, and we represent that with a decimal, so 0 0.05 plus 0 0.10 for 10 cents for a dime, y plus 0.25z, because a quarter is worth 25 cents, equals the total amount value of the quarters and dimes and nickels. So 1240. Everyone okay with that equation? Mm -hmm. yeah. Can anyone help me out with my third one? I get it. Can't you do... Wait, what did you say? Can't you I need my like third equation. Oh. Can't you do like 0.05 plus 0.10 plus 0.50? Oh, why? Would it be a dollar? Because the quarter is doubled. Very good. So, it says if the numbers of, of quarters is doubled... So this one's going to look very similar, 0.05x plus 0.10y plus 0.25 times 2z, because I'm doubling the amount of quarters, correct? But what's 0.25 times 2? 0. 0.50. So it's just going to be 0. 0.50z equals what? Um, 22. 22. 15. Everyone okay with that equation? There's my three equations. So now it's just like yesterday. I've got three, I've got a system of equations and three variables, and I'm just solving for all my variables. Everyone okay? So, which two equations do you want to use first to eliminate a certain variable? Second and third. I would agree with that. Which variable are you guys wanting to eliminate? You want to eliminate Y? Yeah. Everyone good with Y? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to go to a blank page. So 0 0.05x. Oops, that's not a blank page. 0 0.05x 
plus point one zero y plus point two five z equals what is it equal? Uh, Twelve what? Twelve point four zero. My third equation, point zero five x plus point one zero y plus point five zero z equals twenty two fifteen. So we're using our second and third equations, and we're going to eliminate y. So in the y column, do they already have the same number in front of them? Yes, they do. I want that. So since they already have the same number in front of them, do they have the same, no same signs or opposite signs? Same. 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 So do I add or subtract? Subtract. subtract. What happens to my x's here? They cancel, they cancel out. What happens to my y's? They cancel out. They cancel out. 0.25 minus 0 0.50. Negative 0.25z equals 12.40 minus 22.15. Negative 9.75. Say that again. Negative 9.75. Negative 9.75. Everyone good with that? Okay, how do I get z by itself here? Divide by negative 0.25 on both sides. So what do I get for z? 39. 39. So there's my z. Questions on that? Okay, what other two equations do you want to use to eliminate y? First and second or first and third? First and second. First and second? Everyone good with that? X plus Y plus Z equals 78. Is that correct? Yeah. And then point zero five X plus point one zero Y plus point 2, 5, Z equals 1240. So we're trying to eliminate Y, correct? Yes. So do they have, do my Y's have the same number in front of them? Uh -huh. No. How do I get the same number in front of my Y variables? Multiply the top one by Point one zero. So that give me point one zero x plus point one zero y plus point one zero z equals what's seventy eight times point ten? Huh? Seven point eight. Seven point eight. Questions there? No. Do I now have the same number in front of my y? I do. Do they have the same or opposite signs? Same. Same. Do I add or subtract? Subtract. Subtract. So I have point zero five minus point one zero. What does that give me? Negative point zero five minus point one zero. Negative 0.05x, y's cancel out. 0.25 minus 0 0.10. 0 0.15. Plus 0.15z equals 12.40 minus 7.8. 4.6. Everyone okay with that? So now I've technically got two equations in two variables. What can I do with that z now? You just add Plug, it two Plug it in where? Z. Which equation? The one we just got, yeah. right? So I got z equals 39. So I can just plug that in for this z right here. And which variable will that give me? X. That'll give me x. 
I'll give you my second variable. So negative 0 0.05x plus 0.15 times 39 equals 4.6. Point one five times thirty nine gives me five point eight five. Now I'm just solving for x. What's my next step to get x by itself? Subtract five point eight five from both sides. So 4.6 minus 5.85 gives me negative 1.25. Negative 1.25. And how do I get x by itself? Divide both sides by 0.5. Divide both sides by negative 0 0.05. Negative 1.25 divided by negative 0 0.05 gives me. Not 2.5. 25. 25. So I have x equals 25. Z equals 39. Haven't found all three variables yet? No. No, but how can I find my third one? Someone raise your hand and tell me. That was way too much at once. Plug those numbers into the top equation. Very good. I can plug x and z into one of my original equations, and the easiest one to plug into is probably going to be the x plus y plus z oh, yeah. equals 78. So I get 25 plus y plus 39 equals 78. Combining like terms here, what's 25 plus 39? 64, and then how do I get y by itself? Subtract 64 from both sides. So y equals 14. Now we have an actual, an actual situation that we're dealing with, so we're not going to write our answer as an ordered triple. We're going to say, what does my x stand for? Number of nickels. Yes. So we can say Jamie has how many nickels? Twenty-five. How many dimes? Fourteen. Fourteen dimes. And how many quarters? 39. 39. And that's how I'm writing my answer. Jamie has 25 nickels, 14 dimes, and 39 quarters. Everyone okay with number seven? Not too shabby? Do I need to go back to any of my slides to show you any of my work? Can I erase and move on to my next problem? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's my next problem. Number eight. Mason has a collection of 49 cent stamps, 20 cent stamps, and 3 cent stamps worth $23.55. He has 56 total. 49 cent stamps and 20 cent stamps and the number of 3 cent stamps is 9 more than the number of 20 cent stamps. How many of each does he have? No. -uh. This one's not too bad actually. So, first we got to identify our variables. What is the question asking me? How many of each type of stamp does he have? So let's let x equal the number of 49 
cent stamps. What is that I'm going to make y equal? 20. Number of 20 cent stamps. And z? Number of 3 cent stamps. Questions on what I made x, y, and z equal? Is everyone okay identifying what you're supposed to be finding in each problem? It's the question that it's asking at the end. How many of this type of thing do I have? So that's going to be what my variables are. Find this, this, and this. That's going to be what my variables are. Okay? Now, we have our three variables. Now we have to set up our three equations. So Mason has a collection of 49 cent stamps, 20 cent stamps, and 3 cent stamps worth $23.55. How can I get an equation from that first sentence? 0.49x plus what? 0.20y plus 0.03z very good equals 23.55 it's the amount that each stamp is worth in decimal form so 49 cents times the number of 49 cent stamps I have plus 20 cents times the number of 20 cent stamps I have plus 3 cents times the number of 3 cent stamps I have, equaling the total amount that they're worth, 23.55. Any questions how I got that equation? Is that one pretty straightforward for us? Okay. He has 56 total 49 cent and 20 cent stamps. Can I get an equation just from that little statement? He has 56 total 49 cent and 20 cent stamps. Can anyone tell me what that looks like? Say it again. X plus y plus Z. No. <laughs> he has 56 total, 49 cent stamps. What's the what variable is representing 49 cent stamps? X. Oh, I didn't read X. And 20 cent stamps. Y. How many total of those does he have? 56. 56. There's another equation. It just doesn't involve all three variables, does it? It just has X and Y. Everyone okay with that? And the number of 3 cent stamps is 9 more than the number of 20 cent stamps. Say what? Anyone have an idea what this equation is going to look like? So, the number of 3 cent stamps, what's representing the number of 3 cent stamps? Z. 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 The number of 3 cent, cent stamps is 9 more than the number of 20 cent stamps. So, what variable is representing the number of 20 cent stamps? Y. y. What would 9 more than Y look like? Would I add 9 to it, multiply it by 9? Huh? Huh? Multiply. So if I have if I have five apples, Trey has nine more apples than me. What would I add to, or what would I do to five to get nine more than five? Add more. Add, right? So this would be y plus nine. And there's my third equation. Z equals y plus nine. It says the number of three cent stamps, so Z. A lot of times when we see the word is, that also means equals. So the number of three cent stamps is nine more, so plus nine, than the number of 20 cent stamps, which is Y. Does that make a little more sense? I thought it would be, if the 20 cent stamps, if there's, if like, I don't know how to speak. My three cent stamps are nine more than my twenty cent stamps. I have the nine more. Why don't you add the nine to the three cent ones? No. Because there's more. You have to add the nine to the three cent 
Right, so my 20 cent stamps are less, right? So I've got to add the amount to the 20 cent stamps to get to the... Oh, to make them... Okay, okay. Everyone got that? Yeah, I got you. Does that make a little more sense? Did I help clear up a little bit of confusion there? Yes. These are my three equations. Okay. Do you think I'm going to use elimination right here? No. What might be a good method here? Substitution. 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 I have one of my equations already solved for one of my variables. Correct? Yes. So what do you think we could do with that z equals y plus 9? Just put it in. Plug it in. Plug it into which equation? first one because that's the only other one with z correct mm -hmm. so i'm going to replace that z in my first equation with what y plus nine, y plus nine. so point four nine x plus point two zero y plus point zero three And instead of writing the z, I'm going to write y plus 9 equals 23.55. Did everyone see how we're using substitution here? Okay, what do you think I'm going to do here now? Um, distribute. Distribute. Yeah. 0.49x plus 0.20y plus, what's 0 0.03 times y? 0.03y. 0 0.03 0 .03 times 9? 0.27 equals 23.55. Okay. What can I do now? Combine my like terms. I've got two y terms, correct? Yeah. So let's combine those. 0 0.20y plus 0 0.03y. 0 0.23y plus 0.27 equals 23.55. What's one more thing I could do here real quick? Subtract 0.27. Let's get it over here with my other constant. So 0.49x plus 0.23y equals, what's 23.55 minus 0.27? 23.28. Not 28. Or wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Sorry. Tricked you. So now I have a ver or an equation that has x and y in it. Do I have any other equations that have x and y? Yes. x plus y equals 56, right? Yep. There is my system of equations in two variables. We're used to solving or to getting a system like that by elimination. You can use substitution if that's the better method. This was Substitution was the way better method to get my system in two variables, correct? Okay, now I've got to solve this system in two variables for both of those variables, for x and y. You guys want to use substitution or elimination? Substitution? Everyone agree with substitution? I, I would use substitution here as well. Because my second equation, I can easily solve for x or y. Right? Y'all want to solve for x or y? X. X. How do I get x by itself? What? Subtract y from both sides. So over here I have 0.49x plus 0.23y equals 23.28. And we have x equals negative y plus 56. Does so everyone see that? I have x equals negative y plus 56. So I can replace this x 
with that new expression, negative y plus 56. And that'll give me one equation in one variable. And I can solve for that one variable. Everyone okay with that? Okay. What do I need to do here? Distribute. Distribute. So if 0.49 times negative y. Negative 0.49y. 0.49 times 56. 27.44. 27.44. Plus 0.23y equals 23.28. Everyone still with me? What's next? Combine my like terms. Negative 0.49y plus 0.23y gives me. negative 0.26y, and then I still have whatever I have left. Point, plus 27.44 equals 23.28. Am I moving too fast for anybody? I can slow down if I need to. Okay, here I'm just solving for y. That's my first step to get y by itself. Subtract 27.44 on both sides. Subtract 27.44. Negative 0.26y equals 23.28 minus 27.44 gives me negative 4.16. Negative 4.16. And how do I get y by itself? Divide by negative 0.26. So negative 4.16. Divided by negative point two six gives me sixteen. Gives me what? Sixteen. Sixteen. So there's my y. Oh my God. That's okay. It's really short from here. Because what can I do with that sixteen now? Put that in for x plus y. Plug it into this equation, correct? Yes. So x equals negative sixteen. Plus 56. What does that give me for x? 40. There's my x. That was really quick, wasn't it? And now I can plug both of those back into one of my original problems. Which one do I need to plug it into? Yeah, it doesn't give me z. I'm going to plug into the equation that gets me z. So z equals y plus 9. I can just plug my y value in. What was my y value? 16. 16 plus 9. So what does z equal? 25. There's my z. So let's answer the question. How many of each does Mason have? So I'll say Mason has... What does the X stand for? Um, 49, 49 cent stamps. Has 40. 49 cent stamps. What does the Y stand for? 20 cent stamps. 16 20 cent stamps. And what does Z stand for? And 25 three cent stamps. And I have now answered the question. Any questions on that problem? We okay with that? Yeah. Substitution might be a little nicer, isn't it? It seems a little longer at first, but then once we get one of our variables, it's boom, boom, boom. We plug right in and we get our other two. Okay? This will be due Wednesday. So the assignment we got yesterday is due Tuesday. The assignment we get today, this one, 
is due Wednesday. Everyone okay with that? I feel like that's a decent amount of time to get these knocked out. You're only doing three problems from each on your own. I did the other two with you. Okay? Are there any questions for about any of these two problems that we did before I end the recording?